All right, today we just wanted to give you a quick update of what is going on with us and the truck. We are at Endora. We sold everything in 2009 and started living full time in our RV, traveling and working on the road. We hope you come along with us to see how we are living the good life. We're still here in Galveston and our truck is still in the body shop. They did not total the truck. It is going to be repaired, but it's just gonna take some time. Right, so right now we're just basically, they're waiting on parts, the parts is ordered. So they're waiting on that. They're doing some repairs that, um, like the leaf spring and stuff like that. They can get those types of things done now, but then to complete the job, they need to wait on those parts and then it'll go into paint and then we can have our baby back again. I can't wait to get it back. We are so missing our truck. Oh, I know. I just, it, it's unbelievable. You know, we sold our car on Thursday. The truck got wrecked on Friday. Friday. So we've been without a car since. And there's a couple different times I've tried to rent a car and everything has been fully booked. Um, so we're really depending on others to get us where we need to be or want to be. It's working, but I don't like to depend on other people. I, I want to be able to go when I want to go. Right, and then you, you begin to feel like you're a burden to them. Yeah, yes. And I don't like that. No. I don't like that at all. So we're hoping that they're going to stay with their two-week timeline. I talked to the gentleman yesterday and he reassured me that it's still on two weeks. But I'm not going to hold my breath because I may pass out and die. It, it's not looking like it's going to it's going to take more than two weeks, I think. I think so, too. So but we are waiting for that. Once um, our truck gets back in our possession, everything's good. We're on the road again, and we are going to a job. We're going to go back to work. Before we hit Iowa, we're going to hit another job on the way. Mm -hmm. Make a few extra cash, a few extra dollars, which would be nice. Right, and then we can finally make it to Iowa for our jobs in Iowa. So we're just kind of in a pause right now, but we're doing okay. We're doing fine. We're getting by. Mm -hmm. We are. So I'm going to put a clip on here of my mode of transportation uh, from the campground. Since we are without a truck right now, this is our mode of transportation. Yes, our feet. But it's okay. If we need to go too far from the campground, we can get an Uber. Otherwise, I'm going to a store just like two blocks down the road. I get a walk to there. He doesn't know anything about it. What is it? <laughs> it's me walking to the. Oh, uh, I was just gonna say you've been walking. <laughs> yeah, we're luckily we're not too far away from some stores. If I get bored or if I need to pick up something little, yesterday I just needed to pick up some. Choose, so I was able to walk two blocks and get our I juice. I was say, it, I think the farthest we is like what half a mile if we really wanted to walk. Oh, heck, heck. I mean, it's not far. But we have taken Uber a couple different times, um, and that's fine. That works fine. Yeah, but you gotta wait till they get there. I mean, yeah, so it, you're, it's you're 20 waiting. minute wait. Yesterday we waited. Yeah, so it's not anything against Uber, it is just. We are used to having our own vehicle, and when we want to go somewhere, we jump in, in it and go. And away we go. Yeah. Just so go. We'll get over this, and um, I think that's it, is it? Yeah. All right. We will... See you later. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel and hit that bell so each time we post a new video, you get a notification.